it's happening. It's happening. Hey guys, how you doing? It's such a glorious day. So I'm sitting outside with Sarah from Hubbub. Hello. Tell me a little bit about Hubbub and the work that you guys do. Yes. So Hubbub is an environmental charity. Um, which was set up a couple of years ago kind of as a reaction to everything being a little bit gloomy in the world of sustainability. It's pretty gloomy. Uh, there's a lot of talk about kind of carbon calculators and things that people don't really care about or they don't really understand. Um, so we wanted to make something that was a little bit more fun and was talking about sustainability in a slightly different way. Um, so getting people to come together, to have a really good time, doing things that empowered them. Yeah. So we talk about um, people's homes, the clothes that they wear, the food they eat and the places they live. Uh, and we run projects that hopefully empower them to make a lifestyle change nice. and yeah, live a bit more sustainably. So come and join me every Friday where I'll be getting tips, stories and answers on how to live life a little bit greener. This channel is brought to you by Hubbub. We are an environmental charity responsible for things like this. I think people are afraid of the word sustainability because yeah. uh, it makes them feel like maybe they're not doing something right or that you're going to tell them off. <laughs> So we just try and do things that are a little bit more achievable, yeah. that appeal to a much wider audience. Yeah. Um, and sometimes we don't really mention sustainability. Yeah. We look at uh, ways people can save money or ways people can bring their community together. And then there'll be, the sustainability is kind of part of that. It's like really easy, achievable things that anyone could kind of take on. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah, really little changes that you can make every day. So we ran, I'm trying to think of an example. One we ran quite recently was uh, around Black Friday. Um, when everyone goes mad yeah. in the sales and we called it Bright Friday uh, and it was <laughs> <I love that. laughs> rather than telling people to not buy anything at all uh, it was just to encourage people to do something different yeah. on that day rather than go shopping so we had a stylist who was helping people pick clothes that they could wear forever and ever that really suited them nice. uh, we had free nail and hair salons so people could get a free treat to make them feel better on Bright Friday yeah. and we were encouraging people to go outside to go and be with their friends uh, and to think about what they were buying. Uh, so just looking at it from a slightly different way. So instead of consuming stuff, you were kind of encouraging experiences and doing a little something Exactly. To so as well as working kind of hyper-local with communities to make change, we work with big businesses like IKEA or Sainsbury's is another example. Um, so they'll want to run a project either around food waste or getting people to live more sustainably at home. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a uh, Live Legon project uh, alongside IKEA and it was alongside Hubbub as well. So you guys advised IKEA, IKEA, call it what you want. And it was just about encouraging any sort of positive change. I'm glad it's working. Yeah, <laughs> and because of these guys, I ended up getting my worms. <laughs> basically about just getting a group of people together, giving them some blah, 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 blah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and that's all you need. <laughs> so it was about getting a group of people together and giving them some products to help them live more sustainably at home. And then we tracked their progress over a year yeah. uh, and we gave them tips and really helpful things that they could use. So a lot of people found things like switching LED light bulbs in yeah. their house. Yeah. In 2016, we partnered with IKEA to help people like Anna live le gomme and she led everything she managed to pay off her overdraft just by making a simple switch people were doing batch yeah. cooking and just finding different ways to make tiny tiny changes yeah. uh, to live more sustainably starting to repeat projects again now okay, cool. which is nice yeah. so the first project that we ever did was called the pumpkin rescue festival i remember that Eighteen thousand tons of pumpkins get thrown away every year so people carve their pumpkins for halloween and then they throw away the insides yeah um, so it's a festival about getting people to love their pumpkin and to learn how to cook it yeah. and learn how to use it love the innards yeah you've got to love the innards <laughs> so we're about to do the third oh, cool. one of that which is really exciting but hubbub we're kind of all about starting things really small yeah. and seeing if they work so we started that one off in oxford um, with just a few community groups and we brought it to London nice. and then a few other community groups kind of took it on and started doing their own thing um, so it got much much bigger at the moment we have just launched one called the square mile challenge uh, which is happening just in London at the moment we ran a project last year in Manchester which was collecting coffee cups because I'm sure you know yeah. about coffee cup recycling have we yeah. spoken about this on the channel before yes well, you've <laughs> definitely spoken about it I've definitely spoken about it guys if you haven't heard about it watch the videos coffee cups basically at the moment don't get recycled do they yes because of the plastic film that's inside them so they can't be recycled with a normal waste stream so we ran a little project that was collecting coffee cups to see if we could turn them into something new uh, and this year we're running something just in the city of London uh, so we're working with all of the big coffee companies like Costa and Starbucks and Nero and Pret 
uh, and then the businesses who work in the square mile as well. Yeah. And we're trying to collect half a million coffee cups in April. So that is happening right now in the city of London. We have giant yellow bins Ooh, located okay. in many locations. Uh, there's a map online uh, that you can go and find where you can recycle your coffee cup and then they're going to all be collected and turned into new products for the community. Because at the moment I think it's great to encourage people to bring their reusable cups as much mm -hmm. as possible but I think for a lot of people there's a long way to go so if you can kind of attack it from both angles kind of have. like fixing the problem that we already have and then yeah. encouraging people to make a change at the yeah. same time yeah less than one percent get recycled and we throw away seven million every day yeah which is it's crazy. crazy it's crazy it's not cool. <laughs> bundle of joy our cutest campaign uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> is all about recycling textiles Okay, um, okay. So it's based around baby clothing because a lot of times we've spoken to mothers who will have a child and they'll keep the baby clothes maybe up until they're teenagers and they're yeah. sitting in boxes in the loft. Um, so it's about getting people to gift their really good quality baby clothes yeah. to other mums. Um, so we worked with Mother Care uh, and we had collection points where people could drop off little bundles That's of cute. really good quality baby clothes that their children wouldn't wear anymore. Yeah. And then that got passed on to other mums in the community so they could have a second life and hopefully raise a bit of awareness and get people to think about the concept of passing things on and yeah. sharing and just tuning people into that kind of thinking. And how can people get involved with Hubbub? Uh, the first thing you can do is go onto our website, www.hubbub.org.uk. We've got loads of tips up there um, for loads of different things, ways to make your clothes last longer, really nice recipes you can yeah. use, ways to reduce your food waste, and then we have information about some campaigns that you might be able to get involved in as well. Yeah. Uh, so go and have a look, check it out. And you guys have also got a YouTube channel, we which Sarah is the face of. Ah, <laughs> how has this happened? I'm Sarah and every week I'm going to be hurtling through the world of sustainable fashion, ethical eating and talking to you guys about creating greener homes and communities. It is a weekly vlog every Friday. We bring out a new video which is talking about sometimes stuff that we're doing and sometimes interesting things in the world of sustainability yeah. that we want to talk about. Um, and ways that you can get involved basically in what we're doing. From a personal level, mm. what's been the most really interesting thing that you've learned since working at Hubbub? Oh, yeah. so many things. <laughs> I think probably this is like super personal, <laughs> or like from me. Yeah, um, you need to get some tissues. <laughs> <laughs> I just love recycling. <laughs> being a little bit more conscious every day of the things that I'm doing. So yeah. there's probably not one big thing that shifted, yeah. um, but I'm slightly more aware of the processes that go behind everything. Yeah. Visiting recycling plants and things make me think about what I'm throwing away yeah. and start to change my lifestyle a little bit. Yeah. Another one actually that I found really interesting, and I'm definitely guilty of this, or was guilty of it, uh, is that a third of our wardrobe goes unworn. So all the clothes that you've got kind of hidden in the back of your wardrobes that you yeah. haven't worn for a while, that might sit there for years and years. And that was a big spark because I was yeah. suddenly like, yeah, of course. Yeah. I've got so many things that somebody else would love to wear. Yeah. Thanks so much for having a little chat about Hubbub and all the great stuff that you do. Head over to the Hubbub YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it in the info box below and subscribe. Your life will be better. <laughs> Jazz hands yeah. always help, baby. Jazz hands. <laughs> Both of us are completely struggling. I don't know where I am. Yeah. How did I get here?